I guess if there's four of you, that makes sense. Mm, yeah. There's only one of him. No, uh. I'm just a better driver. Just straight up. You two will just kind of give him a look real quick. Just having experienced his driving. And Kev's technically. Yeah. Kev drove them to the police department and they got arrested. Yeah. While you're going there, he just, he does complain about Kev. Most of his complaints are that Kev is uptight, does not a party, is lame. You two just kind of like is polite and it was just like yeah i mean his job is really tough but he's you know no no man you shouldn't you should have met him before he had kids he was wild and he just goes this is a toned down kev oh yeah no he used to be crazy you know i it's probably worse than i imagined but i feel like i could imagine it well uh, you know he kind of got his start clash city and like man cleaned up no, because they were all scared of him. You know, they'd shit their pants. They heard Kev was coming around. Now he's wearing sweater vests and going to his daughter's graduations or whatever. And just so lame, man. He changed. He really changed, man. I mean, they say kids will do that to you. Don't you have any kids? Yeah, no, I, I have quite a few. I think I think I have 14. And, have... and at first, YouTube's a little shocked, but then he realizes, like, he, he he's doing the math over four wives. And he's still, he's still like, that's, that's quite a few, man. That's Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm shooting for 16. I think I'm going to hit that if I haven't already. Is there a reason? What? Yeah, four. Four wives, four kids per wife. Do you just have a thing for the number four? No. Makes you say that. You have four clones you can make. You have four wives. You want four kids with each wife. Are you saying I have some kind of fixation? On the number four? It seems like it. Wow. Well, if I ever need amateur psychology services i'll be sure to come to you okay. shakes his you he just be, shakes his head what about you, you huh rude we're stuck together for like three weeks you got you got a bunny thing you like bunnies yeah my dj rabbit it's yeah but why a rabbit well he goes i don't know why my stand was a rabbit but i took up the name dj rabbit because being on the moon you know my parents as a kid told me the story of the rabbit on the moon and hmm. he goes have you ever heard the, any of those or no you've seen pictures of the surface of the moon right i don't know if you're originally from here i was not. born here yeah i've seen a picture or oh. two sure yeah well in some cultures they see the man on the moon and in some cultures they saw it more as like a rabbit or a hare and particularly for me and my family were Chinese. There are stories about the rabbit that lives on the moon. He just stares at you so somewhat incredulously. So do you think like the moon is a rabbit? No, no, no. Like th there was there's an old parable about one of the gods who came down to Earth and he asked the local animals to help feed him because he had portrayed himself as uh, like a beggar. The birds gathered berries and provided them for him. The fox killed a mouse and brought it to him. And the rabbit laid himself down at the god's feet and told him that, you know, because I'm a rabbit, the only thing I eat is grass, which would not help you. So I offer myself up to feed you. And the god was so taken aback by how s humble and self-sacrificing the rabbit was that he printed his image onto the moon as a kind of thank you, as a reward. Hmm. You've really never heard any of these stories. Never oh. have. Yeah, and, and he's like, there's also a story about how the gods need, you know, an elixir to stay immortal. Uh, it's made by certain herbs and stuff like that that they grow. And the person that creates the elixir is actually a rabbit whose name is... And he kind of like sighs and he goes, it's, its name is also you too. Oh, wait. So do you know how to make that? An immortality elixir? No. Huh. Like even if I got you like a nice lab or something? I don't know the first thing about chemistry. You're talking to the wrong survivor. Hmm. Hmm. That would be handy. I'm sure could use an immortality elixir right now. Four, in fact. And then yeah. I'd never have to make another clone. And you two kind of laughs and he's like, yeah, I mean, if we all had one, then it'd be a lot easier to beat those aliens if we can't die. Oof. I don't even want to think about it, but I guess I should. Yeah, I guess we need to figure out a game plan with what to do with my exploding clones and your rabbit. Yeah. Oh, we're here. Hold on. The uh, vehicle pulls up to just a simple black house with one door on front and no windows. I was going to say, are there windows? What is this house? Nope. Great. It looks like a church. Even better. Okay. Well, I'm going to go in there real quick. I'm going to need you to stay in here. Well, 
Hmm. Are I'm you sorry. sure? I do need the bodyguard thing. Yeah, how about Nine. I come in and, and help? Do you have any night vision goggles? No, not on me. Do you have any in your car? No. I guess we're just out of luck. Guess so. He gets out of the car and straightens out his suit and walks up to the door of the black church, gives it a quick knock, waits. Oh, uh, yeah, you two mm. will get out and, yeah, go stand by him. Mm. He, like, puts his ear to the door. Mm. He slowly kind of, like, moves his head around and then quickly ducks his head as a sword pierces through the door. Uh, yep. Yeah, YouTube's gonna, like, kind of jump back and it'll just be like, ah, shit, is that, is that good? Or what? He puts up a finger, kind of, like, just to indicate he needs a moment. Angeline, it's me. There's no need to stab me. I'm just here to say hello. Can I come in? The sword slowly pulls back into the wood. All right, that's probably a good sign. Door opens like a crack. All right, honey, I have my assistant here. His name is U2. He really likes rabbits. You just tell me that's all not, about them. Oh, that's not okay. It is his defining character trait. That's what I've learned. Nope, not particularly. <laughs> not what I would say, but hi. And I guess he waves to the the darkness if he can't see anybody there. Yeah, there's nobody. You can't. You can't see anybody in there. He just kind of like peers through the crack in the door, honey. Honey, okay, I'm gonna come in. My friend's coming with me. Don't kill him or me. He looks at you two and gives him a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, you two also gives a thumbs up and starts to try and go in before him. And it's just like, I, I, I should go first, right? Yeah, you're the bodyguard. bodyguard. Yeah. Get in there. Yeah, you two will kind of, I guess, just kind of slide himself in first. You go in first. It is like nearly pitch black, except for the light coming from the outside. There's like a low chanting. Sounds like, you two will look at the door to Rich and just kind of like shrug his shoulders. Like, what do we? we do next now this one's a tricky one first of all you have to just follow what i do and rich kind of like holds his hands up and does like a quick turn and then uh, shows like lifts the back of his coat yeah you two will do the same with his hoodie and he's like do we need a light i can turn on my jacket oh no 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 do, no 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 don't, don't okay don't do that don't do that yeah <laughs> and uh, you two's yeah. Yeah, standing there copying him like hands in the air just like okay okay i'll just I'll leave it alone. The outline of a woman's face appears in the darkness. Rich, have you brought forth what I have asked? Yeah, yeah, I did. Good. Slide the cookies to me. He um, reaches into his pocket, takes out a pack of chocolate cookies and just kicks them across the floor. You hear a package being torn open and crumbs flying everywhere. Delectable. Now leave. Okay. I'll see you later, Evangeline. I think she's pregnant. What? Okay. Uh, nice meeting you. Should you return here, unbeckoned, your soul is forfeit. Got it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You have a wonderful home. Thank you. You too. Thank you. That is very sweet. Um, yeah, you too again. Just <laughs> arms up, like, perfectly like he's being arrested. Just walks right out the door. Not was, He doesn't turn his head. He doesn't look. Just straight out. That was impressive. You didn't make any sudden movements or I couldn't smell any fear on you. Well, that makes one of us. That was terrifying. Oh, she's a sweetheart, honestly. Okay, cool. Do we need to meet any of your other wives? Oh, yeah. Today? Yeah, we got just the just the two more. Okay, yeah, let's let's go. The next one, also an auto program location, is Aubrey. She is in District 2. Okay, at least she's smart. None of them are in the same district. Correct. The meeting with Aubrey is actually relatively normal. She's just a normal woman and she has four children. They're all just kind of like smiling and happy and like running around with backpacks and like drinking like orange juice and playing video games. The house is very well lit. Uh, everything's just kind of nice and orderly. It looks like a really just fancy little house. Rich looks pretty, uh, pretty bored. Rich, are you sure this is one of your wives, Rich? Because no offense, but the other two really kind of set up an expectation. That yeah, no, it is. How did you meet her? What? How did, how did this happen? And he kind of like does like a, a small little gesture to kind of everything. 
I was drunk. You make a lot of bad decisions when you're drinking. Ooh, I shouldn't say that too loud. <laughs> I love you too. He like uh, ruffles his kid's hair. And yeah. The kid says, I didn't say anything. <laughs> well, yeah, you two like squints really hard when he sees that and it's just like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, let that be uh, lesson number four. Don't get married while you're drunk. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't intend to, but good to know that uh still shouldn't. Mm. His wife, Aubrey, is just a normal woman. Brunette, kind of dressed like a, a housemaker on the moon. She gives Rich a kiss on the cheek. He looks miserable. Uh, 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 uh. Say, Aubrey, uh, did you give any thoughts to the, you know, going, learning the um, Krav Maga? I got, I sign, you know, you, you Dude, you can go why you can sign you up anytime and she just like hits him with a towel like, oh you why would i need to learn krav maga he looks very disappointed when she reacts with, like that uh, it hurts honestly sometimes you know you two just as his wife walks away one uh, of his wives how do you mean this feels like this should be like your your break from it all why would you say that it's so mean man Wh what i just want I just watched us almost murder one of your wives, who then chased us with bladed nunchucks. Yeah. Whatever the hell, whatever the hell that house was. Yeah. And then this, and he's just like, the, he's watching the kids run around and stuff, and he's just like, this is just, this is normal. This is, this is what people expect of like a happy wife, happy life. Is this what you expect? Well, I mean, maybe not as many kids, but that's a personal preference. Aubrey, like, peeks her head back in the room. By the way, dear, I could smell the vodka on your breath. Isn't it a little early for that? Rich looks so upset. <laughs> uh, you two will kind of, like, put a, kind of, like, do, like, a little hand wave, and he'll, and he'll just go, oh, sorry about that. It was a lunch meeting with a bunch of executives, and you know how they get. Oh, she just kind of, like, smiles and puts her hands on her hip. It's fine. I know he gets a little crazy sometimes. He's okay. He's just acting out because he's getting older, and he's got to do crazier stuff so funny and she just walks away rich looks agonized by this uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> g2 actually kind of smiles and he just goes i don't think you like i think you don't like her because she's got your number man and like again you just got this big shit eating grin <sighs> you remember what i said about the amateur psychology i haven't paid you for that time yet so keep your analysis to yourself bunny boy pokes you two <laughs> in the chest yeah and you two just kind of lets it slide, and it's just like, all right, all right, that's fine. Uh, you want to so, do a line or something? No, man. Are we on to wife number four, or do you want to keep mm. commiserating yourself to this? No, she's missing. I'm sorry, your fourth wife is missing? Yeah, she does that sometimes. Ex-military. Just what? goes completely off the radar. Okay. Does, does she have a name? Several. Yeah. Prefers the code name, though. Okay, what's the code name? Sphinx. And yeah, you two will pull out his Moby and just write Sphinx and just a question mark. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, does does she also attempt to murder you or? Well, she's more of like a like a house cat type, as in she leaves dead things for me to find. Um, I think it's maybe a sign of affection, or it could be a warning. I'm not sure. Great. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, and you two write something like ex-military also gonna kill him wonderful mother though our kids are just oof. i'm sorry what <laughs> and he's like where are the, where are the kids at then oh i don't know either they're they're also missing at this one he's just staring at rich like just as incredulous as he can and just uh, uh, okay yeah they all go okay. underground at a certain point and just kind of do their thing and you know occasionally they say hey daddy what's going on and you know and i say hey kids you know Who's the guy you got tied to the chair? And they say, we can't tell you. And I say, oh, yeah, you sure can't. How many does she have? No, oh, that one is a floating number because I thought it was three, but then it was four and then it was five and then it was three again. And I think they might have been just different kids entirely, actually. Now that I think about it. You didn't it. keep track? And you, you two, again, is just he's just staring. Yeah, it's just nigh impossible, honestly. It, I don't feel like it should be if you got a hive mind going i mean this this feels like a lot and he's kind of point and he kind of like taps his own head but i can kind of keep track of what everybody's doing and you know there's that shared pool of knowledge that we all have i don't see how you can't keep your kids in line uh you, you know it's hard I, are you a father no you a virgin 
No. <laughs> but, well, the point is, when you have kids sometimes, it just gets a little hard to keep track of them all the time, especially when they're being trained by someone with a military history that is classified. 